So welcome back for uh, part two of my uh, butterfly moth build. Uh, this is actually going to use Carbide Create Pro, and we're going to do some modeling and toolpath. And so those are the skill sets that we're going to use. So after I finish this, I'll show uh, the cut and how it cuts, and then we'll talk about. We'll show you the end product. So now we're moving on to modeling the uh, butterfly. So this is the original one we created. This is the one I've already got modeled. Uh, these are the pieces uh, that I use to make the model. So we'll start in with the, the first piece here and it's enabled and we'll show it. And so it just represents the material. Uh, it's three quarters of an inch thick, in this case, 19 millimeters. And it's where we're gonna build the rest of our um, model. So the next piece is here. So we'll show a, uh, a dish. So I've dished out this top and these read just like a number. So it's, it's this dish, it's rounded, it's scale heighted to three millimeters and it's subtracted. So the scale height makes a nice smooth transition from both sides, goes down to three millimeters and it's a subtraction. And I did a round so you can see that it's a nice round edge on all the sides. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is the wing. In this case, uh, what we did is we pocketed out for the, 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 uh, the wings because we're going to add the wings on top of that. And it was a, uh, it's a, it's a pocket, it's flat, and it's two millimeters and it's a subtract. So that's the, the tools that we use. It's a flat two millimeter subtract. So we'll go into the um, next one and we'll add in the wings. Gonna, we did a cut here, so now we're going to add wings. So this again is a, uh, it's, it's a, uh, the wings there, it's rounded, but we did a limit height so that it flattened out and it's uh, rounded limit height, three millimeter add. And we did both wings at the same time. So now we're going to jump to the dots on the back of the uh, butterfly. So we're going to So to get those to show up, there they are, and it's a subtract, so they're down into the wing. So the dots are rounded, and they're 1.25 millimeters, and they're a subtract. Now, one of the things you can do is change all these are done at a 45 degree angle. If you want to make this steeper, or these dots deeper, you can increase the angle, and it'll go down in deeper. So now we're going to go look at the body. And there's the body, and you can see the little antennae up there. Uh, not a lot of detail around the edge, so we'll talk about that in a second. Um, so we'll go in and add the, and if, again, you can change this to uh, a higher angle, and you'll get a higher body on top of it. Now, it will poke out if you go too high, so you'll have to drop it back down. And the last one are the dot on the back of the body right here, and the eyes. So now we jump over to Toolpath, <coughs> and uh, I'm going to talk about these one at a time real quickly. So the first one is the perimeter. And I've got more than one highlighted. We, we'll have to take that off before we cut. So we'll go back out of that. And so that's the, that's the internal perimeter. We're going to have to do a final cut around the edge here, too, which I don't have in. So you can either do that with a saw or you can actually do it with, with your, uh, uh, your router. So you'll have to make one for that. So we'll turn on the next one. This is the rough tool path. And for this, we're using all an eighth inch ball nose bits. And you'll have to worry about your own feeds and speeds because I don't know what material you're using. So the rough pass doesn't look like it's cutting correctly because of uh, it doesn't really cut much. What it does is it tries to get rid of the bulk of the wood to leave everything for your fine pass. 
And so we'll go ahead and turn on the, uh, the, the finish pass. So now our butterfly is starting to come out. So there it is. Now, as I mentioned earlier, uh, there's not a lot of detail around this body. So what I, what I did is I made one more cut. So I made one more cut, and what I did is I, I, uh, I, I went around the, I contoured around the outside of this to give this body a little more contrast. Now how I did that was I just did a flat, flat cut. I didn't follow the contour. And so I just slowly dropped, uh, I made a couple tries at it and slowly dropped the depth of it till I got down to where I was happy and I, I wasn't cutting too much away. So that's what the uh, butterfly, looks like, butterfly looks like. Of course, if you want to cut it in 2D, you, won't, you, you can use a V-carve and it'll, it'll do a really good job of this. See how the uh, Mary Buff butterfly uh, turned out. You can. I didn't end up cutting it uh, from two different directions. I cut it in 45, and then I cut it with the grain. So I decided to uh, put together an information sheet on uh, how to make this uh, butterfly moth. Um, so what we have here, this is all of the uh, required data for building the three Carbide Create Pro 3D models. Uh, I put it over here in Excel as well. There's seven pieces uh, that you add and subtract and round. That, that's, uh, we'll cover that in video two and we'll show this again at the end. Down here we have the tool paths. Uh, I'm using an eighth inch ball nose for a perimeter cut. Then we have a rough tool path, a fine tool path, and then there's another one that you, is optional. And these are kind of how I had them set up for the perimeter rough pass and the fine pass, final pass. Anyway, so um, uh, these numbers down here are, are just how I set mine up. Depending on what kind of wood you used, I was using pine. That's a soft wood. So that's information that you can uh, pause the video on and read that out if you like. Bonus material. At the uh, end of the Sharpie marker tools for CNC router projects, I was drawing a Einstein. And so this is what Einstein looked like when I finished painting him and getting him cleaned up. Thank you for watching the video. Here's some additional resources. Hopefully we'll have another video soon. Please subscribe and like if you found this useful.